So I fitted the uh, belly pan, it took quite a bit of sending. And uh, the reason I always make uh, one layup first of a part I've just done is just to test fit and everything. So I've got a great fit here. It just needs tweaking a little bit to flatten it down a bit more. Uh, the wheel wells are pretty near perfect. The speed brake area, uh, I had to chop quite a bit off and also quite a bit off here. So what I'm attempting to do is how do we mount this thing? Because one, the wing bolts are gonna be underneath the speed brake in here and here. There's uh, two big uh, uh, 5 16 pins what go into the front, which lock the wing in place. So I have to be able to pin uh, some 1 8 dowel here and here, just on the side of these panel lines. I don't know if you can see them. So it goes in this way, comes down, and then when we lay the next set of final wings up, uh, in other words, flyable wings. We're going to put some blocks of uh, plywood glued to the inside skin in approximately this position here and here. And they'll have uh, blind nuts on them so that we can bolt right in and that will hold this down. And the reason for that, I don't want to use magnets, is because we're going to have a servo inside the wing, in underneath the pan, I should say, inside the wing, a cut out in the wing, where the um, speed brake server will go, then it's going to be cut out here, hinged, so that it lifts up and down, obviously, you know, as the speed brake works. So I had to basically get the thing to fit in place just to get an idea of what I need to do. So the good thing about that is when I lay this up now, instead of doing this ridge, I hope you can see it in the video, I'll be laying three layers of six ounce cloth flat in this area because I pretty much sanded all the back of this off. Same with the front here. I, uh, I've, I've cut away most of this area. So all I need to do is have a, a little bit here for the pins. So what I'll do is put the cloth from here, lay that flat right around the corner, then just, uh, a couple of layers of half inch cloth there'll be a little piece of plywood with some one eighth holes built in to uh hold the pins and then i'll lay the rest of it flat instead because before i came up over these wheel arches here or wells i should say and uh i've pretty much sanded most of it off so i'm just going to lay everything flat so what i'm going to do is put a layer of cloth tripled up down the sides, laid flat right up to the edge. Same along uh, here, except for this bit, which I'm going to put in for the pins. And then I'll lay three layers of, of six ounce all across here, just uh, uh, beyond the hinge point, so that the hinges have a good, steady, uh, solid base to work from. And that should give me, a, hopefully, a stiff enough uh, speed break. If not, then I'll laser cut some. Uh, uh, reinforcement to hold them. So anyhow, it's going to make laying this baby up so much easier and it should hopefully have zero voids in it. So uh, that's what we're going to do next. Took a break from molds and all the rest of it. Decided to uh, <clears throat> check out our new speed brake uh, belly pan, which is this guy. This is one of them. And uh, that was fresh out of the mold yesterday. So anyhow, this one's actually the uh, good one. This one has uh, some voids in it. So what I decided to do was see how I could do the speed brake. So this is basically a mock-up. This is our test plane. This is just the, the first set of composite wings we made, which were just thrown together so that we could use it to make the belly pan and to test you know, controls and all the rest of it. It's got some voids in it, so we're not going to use them for flight. So anyhow, I've done the speed break, and this is what we've come up with. So it works. Now, the problem is, with this plane, I'm going to turn this off right now. The problem is with this plane is that because of the speed break, 
and we want it to have you know all the bracing on the wing and everything we have done it so that the bolts go in here and i'm going to modify the wing mold so there's a recess because the bolts are going to go here and that's going to interfere with the speed brake because the speed brake pretty much fits flush into this area here so i've also had to gouge out the uh, wing here for the speed brake servo uh which is mounted in a 3d printed servo mount and it's adjustable so uh that works great oh and by the way here's the hinges these are uh, off the shelf hinges we'll probably design our own up and have control over them unless i can just buy a hundred of them for a couple of bucks or whatever so we have them in stock uh i think they were from hobby king but they work good <clears throat> excuse me they actually look quite scale that's uh how uh the scale ones look on the plane except for the for the way it mounts but you know that can be painted and hidden and so forth so what we've come up with what i found so far is my intention was always to have the servo in the wing except i screwed up because i didn't design the belly pan in 3d on the actual 3d model i never thought of uh, where all our bracing is so we have a main spar which is like you know three eighths going through here to two thirds of the wing and it's a box spar fits inside a, 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 a slot box uh, we have a sub spar or a small one which goes from here to here which is about I don't know, 10 inches into each wing. But it's right here where the uh, servo needs to go. Now, I really bollocks that up and, you know, that's showbiz. So what I'm going to have to do is redesign this uh, back spar so that it comes right across the backside of the wheel well. And then it's going to be out of the way. Everything will fit and everything will be good. So... That's why I do these mock-up wings and do test pieces and so on and so forth. That kind of stuff you just don't visualize sometimes. And again, with the bolts, I did realize I was going to have to do something with the bolts. So what I'll do is I'll uh, laser cut some Lexan, quarter-inch Lexan, and I will glue it into the mold permanently. So what that will do, it will give me a, basically a quarter-inch deep uh recess once we lay up the wings so i'm real happy uh everything's working as planned uh as, for, as far as me and uh, brad who's my biz partner in this build uh we keep our wings assembled we don't i mean our planes assembled so we don't usually uh, have to bolt them in or anything so uh this one we're going to have to deploy the speed brake. Or actually, before we put the speed brake belly pan on, we have to screw the wing in. And then, uh, well, that's, I should say that's for people who want to take the wing off. Uh, speed brake belly pan comes up, screw the plane down, drop the belly pan in. There's going to be a couple of blind nuts just in this area and this area. Uh, there'll be pins on the front, so it goes in, down, couple of small uh, X bolts or whatever you want to use and uh, Bob's your uncle it's done so anyhow real pleased with that uh, what I'm trying to contemplate now is do I uh, design and 3d print a wheel well which I actually used in the prototype wings the foam wings we use for flight and make that scale with the little ribs in it and all that kind of good stuff or is it even worth bothering with so uh, I guess I may have to make one more mold. I was hoping I was done with it all. Plus, uh, I forgot I have to make a nose gear mold because it has a bulge in it. But those things are just really easy, so no big deal. Anyhow, guys, uh, that's what we uh, accomplished today. It was just a quick and dirty. Now I have to clean everything up, redesign the wings a bit, and uh, we'll be good to go. If you like this video and found it useful, please subscribe. It would really help the channel. Thanks.